All right, guys, good morning. KB32 here. Check it out. Sitting over here in the Freedom Studios in the northern part of this country. <laughs> and uh, getting ready to go out and do some shooting today. It's going to be a lot of fun having a cup of coffee. It is 7 a.m. You'll probably see this video later on today. I wanted to talk about Tulsi Gabbard. If you haven't heard what's happened to her, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty disgusting. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard was actually placed on the no-fly list. I'm going to read this article, and we're going to go over and give you my opinion of it. This is uh, Larry Keene over there at the NSSF. Uh, all right, here we go. For America's gun owners, including the 22.3 uh, million new first-time gun owners, congratulations, since 2020, the latest shocking news about former representative and former Democratic presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard being placed on the U.S. government's transportation Safety Administration's quiet skies list should gravely be concerning. Yeah, it's very concerning. She's a political opponent. She's been outspoken about what the current administration is doing and what they're also. Oh, by the way, uh, Tul uh, not Tulsi, but uh, Kamala Harris is going to implement today a very Soviet-style uh, tactic of restricting companies on the amount of money that they're allowed to make. Profit's a bad thing in their world. I'm all about free market capitalism. Those are the items that keep this country going and keep it straight. When everybody talks about how great your 401 is, if she gets involved in this and this passes, which I don't think it will, say goodbye to your 401 and all your investments because what's going to eventually happen is there's no reason why you should have that much money either. Okay, let's continue talking about what we're talking about. Don't let me get on a side subject. The knowledge that former Congresswoman Gabbard was on the quiet skies list, came to light because of whistleblowers concerned of political retribution for her outspoken stances against the Biden-Harris administration. The track record of the federal government, yeah, and the watch list is dismal. Federal agencies have abused this list and are ripe for targeting political opponents, including the Second Amendment supporters and gun owners like you and I. I mean, what's to say that if you, they find out, and they do keep a registry, you know they do, they know who's got guns. They keep a registry. They know who has firearms, especially like, hey, I'm a YouTube person. And if you make it big enough and you're talking against the government, which I wish all the big YouTubers would do, well, you never know. You might be on that no-fly list one day. Let's talk about the next article, the Clear Act of Political Retaliation. Quick recap is that former Representative Gabbard, I don't know about you guys, but I, I find her very attractive. The silver streak. She's a lieutenant colonel in the Guard or Reserves in Hawaii for the Lord. Some choice words for the Biden administration on Fox and criticized the now Democratic nominee Kamala Harris as a weak candidate for holding flawed positions. That's her First Amendment and the right to do so, just like what I'm doing right now. YouTube is a way of censorship. They, they shut the, the gun channels down. And I'm sure eventually, you know, they're going to find firearms being outlawed and things of that nature. But this is how we are. The show host, Laura Ingram, pointed out, and I actually watched that show, our questionable timing of Representative Gabbard's placement on the government watch list, saying, so what exactly did Tulsi Gabbard do to get on the added terrorist watch list? Of course, what the hell did she do? No one could tell us. Uh, it came the day after she criticized the Biden administration. Here's the thing that Joe Biden's been around in government, what, for 132 years? Well, there's no reason why he doesn't know every single person in uh, I was going to say Hollywood, in D.C. For him to do something like this is not out of the question. It happens all the time. Gabbard went on to say, the very next day after my conversation with you on the air, warning the American people about how dangerous Kamala Harris' presidency could be, I was placed on the domestic terror watch list, which is called the Quiet Skies. I don't believe that, okay? Here's the thing. The high Biden-Harris uh, organization, <laughs> with the crime organization called Biden-Harris, they've allowed how many terrorists into the country through this whole BS of open borders, non-security, and yet this is what happens to this young lady here. To now have my own government now turn around and put me on a domestic terror watch list, it hits the core. Yes, Representative Gabbard also explained that everything changed for her and her family since being added to the watch list on July 23rd. This is just, it's crazy, and you know what happened. These people are guilty. <laughs> they endured excessive hours, long security screenings at airports, and have multiple federal air marshals on their flights. Gabbard explained the major concern is the unknown, saying this is the real pain and stress that's been caused both to me and my family for this whole situation. Day and night wondering if the government institution and agency is monitoring my phone calls, surveilling me on my movements, my travels, knowing that they may be looking for some kind of excuse 
derogatory action to come after me. Sound familiar is the next paragraph. New gun owners, which comprise of the Florida-sized population, says 2020 might be unfamiliar with how some in the federal government treat gun owners. Well, I'll tell you how to do this. They want to screw you every day, every minute. And if Kamala Harris becomes the president with this guy, Tim Waltz, the uh, paintball gun warrior, he, he initiated a cheat line, a, a, a snitch line, and then sends his police out to shoot people while they're sitting on the front porch. Setting the table. Americans who support the Constitution and the right to keep and bear arms should watch closely to what the Democratic ticket has to say about gun control. Kamala Harris and her vice president, Tim Walz implementing universal background checks on all firearms tran and transfers is their number one priority. I, you know, here's the whole thing. All right, I'm just going to quit reading right now. We're going to go ahead and talk about this. This woman and this dude, along with all the, the communistic things that they are trying to implement, this guy's a strong arm bastard. She is a turd. We have to come together as a family and make stuff happen. Otherwise, it's going to go to hell in a handbasket. I thought Joe Biden's presidency was bad, but you see if this lady right here wins with the guy that she's got running, and it's funny as hell, if you look up this paintball thing, you actually have to look it up. And nothing comes up on Google, nothing bad. The media is covering up every single item that this person does, and she's set for zero, zero interviews because she can't talk on her own. And Bidenomics, it's not working. So anyway, with that being said, guys, uh, yeah, Second Amendment, you, Gabby, uh, Gabby Giffords now, not her, Tulsi Gabbard, we're all in the same boat, ladies and gentlemen. The government is against us. With that being said, I just don't know what else to say. We're going to go shoot. We're going to go have some fun while we steal cans. KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Always in them like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Hope you guys are having fun. Y'all be good.